Hello folks, this is Ben Ray with Zerian Software. I uh, wanted to put together a video of our newest tool um, added to the Zerian suite called our SQL Data Pipe. Now what this tool does is it allows data captured directly on iPhone Builder, stored in iPhone Builder Cloud, to be instantaneously sent over to a SQL server. Now this supports building of the tables, it supports adding of new columns, as well as flattening of your, your subform data. So I just wanted to go over a quick demo of this. So if I just fill out this form, I'm just gonna fill out the parent form just for, for demo sake. You choose the GPS location, you choose the name of the inspector, you choose any manholes that you would have, and you just sign off on the, the inspection. Now at this point, what you can do is hit done, and what it's actually going to do is sync up and write directly to a SQL Server database. So we'll wait here just a second. Um, I submitted the record. I'm just going to run a quick uh, refresh here. And I'm going to see that up here. Now here's the fifth record I've submitted. So again, you see here's all the, the details and columns that I've, I've filled out in here. Now if I was able, or if I wanted to go in and build a new column in here, I'll just show you how it supports adding of new fields. So instead of date of signature, we're going to to date of next inspection. And at this point, I'm just going to make this a date field. And I'm going to go back here and, and sync up my, my device. Now, once the device syncs, I'm going to fill out a record with this new field in it. And when I submit this, we're actually going to see on the SQL Server side, it's adding a new, uh, a new column there as well. So again, capture the GPS location, name of the inspector will be Ben, Date of next inspection is going to be, we'll say, June 4th, 2016, and I'll sign off. Now, at this point, when I submit it, what it's actually going to do is add a new column to this list. So I'll just do view contents, and now we'll see we have our date of next inspection field here. Now, if I want to add in five or six other fields, they'd automatically appear here. Um, good news is if you delete the field, it actually is still going to stay intact here, so you will preserve your data. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the quick overview of the SQL Server data pipe and you get a lot of use out of it. Thanks so much for watching.